with great faith. Repeat with me, the door that God opens no one closes. It is impressive the power of faith when a person clongs to God. There is no scenario that God cannot change. If the person is under a spiritual covering, of a spiritual direction, it can be any problem, God turns it into miracle. God turns crying into victory. I hope your faith in God changes the whole scenario of your life, and also in the lives of your whole family members. Write with great faith this phrase in the comments, the door that God opens, no one closes. Declare it over your life and it will surely manifest. Everything you say and write gives legality to God in the spirit world. So, keep declaring the grace of the Lord upon your life, and God will surely bless you with his grace. Amen. Amen. I want you to like this video, so that you will help us to spread the word of God around the world. And for you who are here for the first time, welcome. In the things of God there are no coincidences, in the things of God there are purposes, and if you are here today, it's because God has a purpose for your life. The direction I give you right now is that you subscribe to the channel, it is free, you pay nothing, but it is the only way for you to receive my next prayers. That will help you a lot. Just below you find the word subscribe in red letters. I want you to click subscribe. Right after that, next to it, you will see a symbol of a bell. Click on the bell, and to finish you will see the word all, you also click. So every time I send new powerful prayers, you will receive it for free, through YouTube. From today, I'm adopting you in prayer. Now I'm going to read here the word of God. The Bible says in the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 1 verse 10, In her deep anguish Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. Do you know what weeping bitterly is? Bitterly, bitterness is something higher than sadness. That day Hannah shed many tears, and she made a vow, saying, Lord Almighty, if you will only look on your servant's misery and remember me, and not forget your servant, but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life. Listen to what I'm going to give you, your tears, tears of pain, tears for the hard times. There has to be a right place. You cannot put your tears and your pain anywhere, or in anyone's hands. Your tears and your pain has to be in the right place. And do you know where you have to shed your tears? Do you know the exact place for you to shed your tears? For you to open your heart, for you to shed your sadness, your bitterness. It is in the presence of God. It is in the presence of God that tears of sadness become double honor. It is in the presence of God that humiliation becomes victory. The Bible says that Hannah became bitter. If it were these days, the world would be depressive. And do you know what Hannah did? Hannah didn't cry to an ordinary person. She didn't shed her tears anywhere or was opening up to anyone. Hannah shed tears for God. It is for God and to God you have to shed your tears because sometimes you open up to a person that you shouldn't. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do this, but you have to be vigilant even to do that. Sometimes you shed your tears for a person, that there will be no answer for you. The most that person can do is give you a little word, and then open your problem to other people, tack to other people, not God. When you catch your tears, when you take your humiliation, when you take your hard time, and you lay in the presence of God in prayer, how we are doing here now, we are in the presence of the Most High. And at the time of prayer, you open yourself to Him and say, Lord, I'm suffering. Lord, I'm going through a humiliation. I cannot take it anymore. God turns those tears of lamentation into honor. God turns that struggle into a witness. It is for God you have to shed your tears. You cannot be telling your problem to anyone. The Bible says that when Hannah couldn't take it anymore, because Hannah was barren. Hannah had a dream of being a mother and could not. The Bible says that Hannah saw Penina, who was another woman having a child with her husband, and she couldn't get pregnant and that was embittering her. And one day Hannah said, this will have to change. I will shed my tears unto the Lord. 
and she went into the presence of God. She didn't talk to anyone. She said, I want to pray to God. I will tears in the presence of God. Because there are people who don't need your fight, your war. There are people who need to count. If she finds 10 people, for 10 people she will tell her problem. And nothing will change, it won't change anything. People will look at you with pity. Poor thing, we will tell your life to other people. And your problem will be spread to many people. Your tears is in the presence of God that has to be shed. It is God that will give to victory. It is God who will bless you. It is God who will exalt you. It is God who changed the page of your life to a story of victory because it is written here in the Bible and I believe it. If you open the Bible chapter 1 of 1 Samuel, it says that Hannah was a bitter woman, but if you turn the page in chapter 2, here is written the song of Hannah, it is very strong. Then said Hannah, My heart rejoices in the Lord. My strength is exalted in the Lord. My mouth laughs at my enemies, because I rejoice in your salvation. My God is very strong. Chapter 1, Hannah is crying. Chapter 2, Hannah is praising with joy. The is what will happen in your life, if you believe. When you take your tears, your pain, and keep talking to other people, it just gets worse and worse. But when you put it in the right place, it is in the presence of God. You cry in the presence of the Lord. You open up to God. You say, I'm suffering. I'm going through humiliation, Lord. Lord, I can't take what is happening to me anymore. Change my life. You will see the heavens begin to work and change your story and give you victory. I want to say to you, shed her tears, but pour in the right place. Spill to the right person, to those who have medicine for your pain, and not to those who will take your problem and talk to other people. These are words directed by God. Believe and you will say God changed my life. Hallelujah. I believe you will do it. Do you take possession? You believe? Now I'm going to pray. My prayer is for God to bring much protection over your life, about your house and your family. God bless you. Father, Lord, firstly, I want to glorify your name because you are faithful. You are a good God. You are a merciful God. Thank you, Father. Praised and exalted be thy name, Father. I ask that all the people who are here listening to this prayer and who are experiencing an illness problem or has a family member with an illness problem, have mercy, Father, have mercy, because it is so hard, it is so bad to face a disease. Lord, pour out your mercy on each of us and all those who are sick and know and those who are sick and don't know it yet because the disease didn't manifest itself. May the Lord put your blessing and your grace. May the Lord heal you. May the Lord set you free. May the Lord rebuke all infirmities. May the Lord come to receive the tears of each of us, just as the Lord received Hannah's tears, because she shed tears for the Lord. The Word of God says, Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God and He will exalt you. When we humble ourselves to the Lord, the Lord exalt us. So Father, I ask you that every tears, every difficult moment that your sons and daughters have been through, may it become honor, double honor and victory. May the blessing of the Lord be upon our lives. Father, open the doors, I declare. The Lord will open doors in this life that no one can close, amen. Now declare with me. Say, I declare in my life God will open doors no one can close. Close your eyes. Bow your head and pray with me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Glory to God. May God give you victory. May God change your tears into double honor. Look what I'm going to tell you. I ask you now to break this before you leave. I want you to click below on the word share.
Copy the link of this prayer. I want you to send it to 12 people. Don't break it. The number 12 represents multiplication. So, we meet here on the next prayer. Stay with God and He bless you.